Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel. Follow on social media for great production content. One of the coolest things about Logic Pro X is just how much we can customize it and shape the interface, various aspects of how we interact with it in a way that best suits our production style and our own personal creative and technical workflows. And these range from things like customizing your library, working with project settings and preferences, to using, for example, different screen sets. This hip hop temple that I'm in right now has a whole number of screen sets that are designed to walk you through the creative process. We can customize these, we can customize aspects of our interface, you know, customizing different views, etc. And this stuff's all really, really powerful. One of the things that a lot of people don't realize we can do is we can actually also customize, for example, our track icons like we have here. These are just the ones that naturally show up inside the template. We've got you know, a drum machine, we've got some different synths. And it's really easy to change these and customize these to make it more visually recognizable for you. To get into our track icons, it's actually quite simple. We can just control click and it'll pop up all kinds of presets, whether it's a drum kit, you know, different styles. These are all from the producer kits, individual drums, if it's just our kick or a snare, hi-hat. If you want to have some nice visual references to things, we can also choose different percussion elements. There's a, a drum pad and so on and so forth. Depending, we have basses, we have acoustics and, and uprights and different electrics, guitars, all kinds of keyboards, including a bunch of synth models. So lots of cool icons that are already included as far as customization. Then we also have some others, just some general ones, musical notes, waveforms, MIDI knob, or what have you, some mics. And this all works real well, but we also have these custom icons. I've got a couple loaded up in here. For example, there's one of the D16 punch box that I had loaded. I just did a course on that not too long ago. We have maybe Absinthe or Battery, Guitar Rig, this is one for Melodyne. So it's really easy to bring these in as well if you have them. And we can either work with icon files or JPEGs or pings, whatever you have. Once we have some in here, we can remove something, we can replace something. And I'm just control clicking or right clicking, show in Finder. And it pops right up. And we can see that I've got some custom icons. This is where Logic stores it. So if we want, we can move a whole bunch of custom icons right into this folder. In fact, however, I'm gonna open another finder window, go to my production library, and I have a folder here. If I want, I can come in and grab all these .icns files, I also have ping files, I can just drag it right in there. There's the FM8 icon, um, complete control, what have you. So just a couple other notes here with this. These icons, they need to be a fairly decent size because they do scale up to this high if you increase the track size, same size over here. And if we don't want to just come in through Finder, again, we can always just come down to Custom Icons and add one. It's going to open in your Pictures folder. Or you can, like we discussed earlier, just drag them. So here is a DSR logo. And it just goes on just like that. Of course, we can also create TIFF files and just load them into there. But it'll have to be scanned when Logic restarts. So it's probably just all in all easiest just to bring them in like that. Or if we have a folder of a whole bunch of icons, we can just come in, shift select, and just drag them in. And now we can select them. And that's a really good way to get a whole bunch of them that you're going to use all the time. So here, for example, is a ping of the machine. I can also just come over here and drag it onto a track header. So whether it's an icon file or a ping or a JPEG, it's really simple to make these custom icons, which can help you visually organize your session. So hopefully that's a helpful little tip for you that will let you kind of just dial in some of the look of Logic. If you're interested in learning more about customizing Logic, I just released a course on ADSR called Customizing Logic Pro X, which dives into all kinds of aspects of customizing the interface, the library, screen sets, project settings, and whatnot. So look for that on ADSRcourses.com. But until then, I hope you found this Logic Pro X quick tip useful. I'm Stephen Ellisted for ADSR. And make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel, follow on social media, and we'll see you next time. Take care.